So I was doing a search for steam heat for houses and it came across a neat thing and it is steam heat for rail cars. Now in the 19th century, passenger travel was really picking up in our newly formed interstate rail system and they needed a way to heat the cars. So first thought was we will put a fireplace in a rail car and actually burn wood. A couple problems that obviously was a huge safety issue and the second problem was that if you were sitting by the fireplace, you're just getting hot and lit up. And if you're on the other end of that drafty rail car, there might as well be no heat. So some smart people said, look, we got a steam locomotive. So let's pull some high pressure steam off of that thing and run it to some radiators. which was a great idea, except that it was high pressure steam. At that time, safety wasn't as good, prone to accidents, and they needed to make a change. Also making a change at that time was leaving the steam locomotive era and moving into the diesel era. So with that became the invention of the low pressure steam generator rail car. Literally, it was his own rail car. Right behind the engine was this low pressure steam generator, very safe and they would take it on all their cold routes, I guess, and they would run that low pressure steam to all the rail cars, to the radiators, in order to provide heat. Interesting tidbit, they also used that low pressure steam to provide cooling. What, cooling? That's what I said, cooling. And if you stay tuned next week, I'll tell you how they cooled rail cars with steam. That's our topic for next week. So hope you enjoyed this week's topic. How do you heat a rail car? You do it with low pressure steam. So come find us on social media, because you know we're everywhere. If you want to find out how you cool a rail car with steam, you'll be back here next week to see me. Thanks for joining this week. See you then.